We arrived in Edinburgh yesterday on Friday, today Saturday the 10th of August. So we had a drive around the city with Alan, our host. He showed us the site from just below Arthur's seat. And then we went into town, we spent the whole day traipsing up and down the Royal Mile and this is what happened. View from the road that goes up towards Arthur's seat, around the bottom of Arthur's seat. Another view, just come a little bit further down the road, so we've got a little bit more view of the city. I don't know if you can see you there on the hill. In the far distance, there's a ski slope over there somewhere. Not sure whether it's focusing very well. So we come around and see the city proper, and then eventually we come around, we can see castle there on the hill. Alan's just dropped us off in the centre near to the Museum of Children. He pointed out to this building here and said this is the old jail. It's a very nice looking building. Probably not very nice to stay in it when it was yeah, way up the Cannon Gate, which is part of the Royal Mile, through the historic area of Edinburgh, towards the Childhood Museum. And uh, just wanted to say my overwhelming impression of Edinburgh so far is how compact it is, how close together everything is. Well, I think the name of this pub dates back to some of the 16th century. And this is up the high street, up the mile. A bit of a street violinist. Very sweet. The Museum of Childhood in Edinburgh. We're coming to have a look at this. This is kind of fascinating. The first part of the exhibition telling the story of how in the early days children didn't really have childhoods like they do now. It's only really been for the last 150 years that they have had. Um, and so it kind of sets the scene, this first part of the exhibition to that. And this is kind of weird. In the late 70s and the early 80s, children started getting video games and these, I remember all these. This one takes me back, Sinclair Spectrum. They haven't got an 8, 8, 8, 10x80 or 81, it's kind of cool to see one of those. And this, I think, was a BBC machine. Old CRT monitors, Chinatown, Kevin Keegan games, and then right up to 1999, 2000, the first export. It's a cool Fisher Price activity centre. I'm not sure I played with one, but I remember all these toys. I think we had one of those pulley dog things, and older versions of games which you still get today, like Scrabble and Kaplunk and Monopoly. Yeah. This Monopoly set has wooden, wooden counters. So what's this, Maisie? What have you done here? So I built a tower okay. um, out of magnetic yeah. tiles. This thing here which I thought was interesting, this is uh, came out about the 1930s, the same sort of thing as like a construction set and I thought this looked eerily like Minecraft. <laughs> Quaker's Edinburgh Meeting House at a pop-up that's only here during the festival and we thought we'd come in, we're having vegan food, look at that, it's absolutely delicious, got barley and lentils and hummus and cabbage and all kinds of yummy stuff. Amazing is having a double cheese sandwich, we're having kind of artisanal orange juice and cola and coffee and all good things. What do you think? This is Victoria Street, a bit of scaffolding there to make us feel at home. We've seen it all over the place. And there's more fringy things going on down there and restaurants and bars and all kinds of stuff. It's changed every half hour to hour or so. Every time you walk up and down there's something different going on. I'm not sure why anyone pays to go to anything. We looked uh, when we were sat at the restaurant up for lunch. There was, uh, we had a look in the guide to the fringe and there are so many acts going on. I guess anybody who's already been here will know that, but it's just kind of a little bit overwhelming.
distracted by another street musician. This time towards the Grassmere Road. Oh, so we came to the underbelly to find somewhere to eat and drink, and this is how many people there are. It's a lot of people. We did end up finding somewhere to have a drink with Lou and her friends and then we went to get some bite to eat or at least the girls did and then me and Kirsty took a kebab home. So that's what we did on the first day. Next day we went to see the Royal Yacht Britannia so look out for the video about that. Don't forget to subscribe and press the little bell icon to get notifications of when I post the next video. Bye for now.